Welcome, in front of me is a Sony Xperia 10 Mark VI and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of this phone. Now, when you put it up for the very first time, you should be presented with the same screen as you can see for me, which is the welcoming page where you can select your desired language from the list. Now for me, I selected the correct one, so that's what I'm going to stick with anyway, and then we can select get started. Here we have some important information. I am aware of the important information. That is the most vague bullshit uh, corporate uh, thing I have ever seen. Uh, obviously, you can tap on the important information to read exactly what you will be agreeing to. And it's just a laundry list of different things like warranty, uh, warranty periods, whatever. You get the point. So we're going to select done right here, check the box and go to the next page. Here we can uh, connect to our Wi-Fi. Now this is one of the ways we can connect to network. Uh, the other one would be by inserting a SIM card and connecting to mobile network. Now this might be important. I don't know if we can skip both of them on Sony. I think we might, but by skipping both of them, uh, you won't be able to log into your Google account, which let's see if we get, we get the pop-up right here. So I am skipping the SIM card as well. And it gives us this pop-up, so sign into your Google account won't be available to us, uh, restoring apps and data, uh, getting software updates, and automatically setting up date and time. These are all the things that won't show up through the setup process. Keep in mind, you can connect to your network later on after the setup is completed uh, by just going to Wi-Fi and connecting, or obviously inserting a SIM card. Next, we have uh, check the following. So we have, uh, I agree to the end user license agreement. Uh, interesting that this wasn't in the important information uh, and then optional. That's all I need to know. So I'm not going to be selecting that. Next, we have the date and time as it's not set automatically. I can fix it up if it's incorrect. Here we have Google services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. Now we can disable all of those if you want to, but let's be honest, it's Google, so we have no idea if disabling all of these does anything because Google will get their data one way or another. So I'm just going to ignore this and go to the next page. And here we can select a screen lock. Now by default it will opt into a four digit pin, but we can select screen lock options and then choose from something like pattern or password. Uh, so we can choose whichever one you want. And after setting that up, you can also add a fingerprint. Send, a fingerprint. Now, I'll be skipping this. There we go. Next, we have continue setup. So yes, continue. It's not like I have any other options. Navigating a mode. So here you can choose which option you want. You can have gestures or three button navigation. I'll select gestures. And we also have settings right here. So it allows you to increase or decrease the sensitivity and also enable the uh, Google Assistant if that is something that you like to use. And as you can see, this finishes up the setup, so I'm going to select finish, give it a moment, and there we have our home screen. So, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.